So what changes in your life after a major transcendental experience? Hey guys, it's John sitting out here on my back deck in an early evening uh, in the 50s. It was raining all day today and now the sun is setting behind me. So I thought I'd sit with my head in front of the sun so, so it wouldn't shine in your face. <laughs> I wanted to hop on and talk about life after a major transcendental experience, like a, like a near-death experience, an out-of-body experience, astral travel. Life afterwards, how does that kind of play out? You know, there comes a new awareness in your life when you're, you come to realize after having an experience like that that you're not the physical world, you're not the body. And in being in that space where you realize that you're not the body and that you are something bigger, something greater, something broader, you come to the realization that, that everything is more like a, like a, a, a game. It's a, it's a game of, of illusions. It's a game of illusions that you take part in. It's a game of illusions that you have the ability to address and adapt and, and create. You, you, you come to a place of just simply more joy. Now, a lot of people who have near-death experiences will say they, they made a mistake in coming back because they don't feel that le loving expression anymore. And when you look at it from the perspective of what they've lost, um, they're kind of missing the point of the, of the, the experience of the big transcendent, transcendental experience because the fact that you, are, you give a, get a glimpse of something bigger, of something greater, something more grand, something that is uh, a, a larger expression of self, it gives you a freedom that you've never had before. You know, the physical world is filled with all these rules and regulations and, and fear-based dogmas and doctrines and ideas of limitation and uh, concepts of fate and destiny. And after you've had the experience of crossing over and having that transcendental moment, you realize that none of that is true. That that is all just a limitation within the illusion of your experience. And when you, when you come back with, with the realization that you can just be in, in a loving place, in a loving state, even, even the concept of needing a purpose changes because then you realize just being in the loving state here in the present, you, you have, you have given the world uh, something that is a great purpose. Your purpose is to, to be that essence of love, that vibration of love in the here and now. And when people think of, of how they can serve and how they can do all these things, they're really basing themselves on the illusion itself. And, you know, I, I do loving things every day. I, you know, I take things to homeless shelters. I do all those things. But it's it's not about being of service. It's about, you know, what is the loving thing I can do today? I don't, I don't look at it as a, a singular path of service. I just think of it as, you know, simply loving. And one of the elements of, of having a major transcendental experience and then coming back to the physical world, you become very aware of the people around you who are in fear and anxiety, who are in stress who are really struggling with all of those rules, regulations, and doctrines, and dogmas, and who are boxing themselves in with physical world ideas that have no relevance to the grander or greater self, the higher self, the bigger self, the God self, the I am self. The thoughts of, of limitation, the thoughts of doctrines, the thoughts of rules, the thoughts of all those things are just, are just concepts of limitation that hold you back. But when you have the experience, you realize that you're unlimited. You're unlimited in all aspects. You're unlimited in, in, in the ability to love or be loved. You're, you're, you're unlimited. And the experience of crossing over literally shares with you who all of us really are. And as you walk in life afterwards, you, you look at people from the perspective of knowing who they really are, knowing that that person who's in distress or trauma or grief or um, poverty, that each one of them is, is 
choosing those limitations and, and creating those experiences. And they're also giving you an opportunity to look and say, wow, this is an opportunity for me to be loving. This is an opportunity to show that person a little bit of that other side that I touched. It, it, it changes your perspective on every person you'll ever meet. It changes your perspective on love and respect. Because suddenly now you are living in a life where, where everything is part of this loving oneness of God. And now you have the ability to be that living oneness in the here and now. So having that big transcendental experience, having that near-death experience, that out-of-body experience, that crossing-over experience, it gives you this broader awareness of the interconnectedness of everything. And your life is never the same. Your life is never the same. You, you, will, you will always be processing from a oneness rather than the division of rules and doctrines and dogmas. You'll, you'll start to look at the world from the perspective of, can I just speak love today? Can I just share love today? Can I just do the loving thing today? Can I make a simple smile and change someone's outcome today? And you just start living that. And some people who are so fear-based and so, so afraid of that will lash out and they'll get angry and they'll, they'll say that you're, you're, you're trying to get something from them. And that's, that's, that's a moment of, of realizing that they're not ready to accept that love or, or embrace that love or become that love. And you have to come to the space of realizing that even though they're, they're not ready to hear it or experience it, on some level they did. On some level they did or they wouldn't have had a visceral reaction to it. And so don't ever stop being loved. Don't ever stop giving love. Don't ever stop being the expression of love. And you can, we can all change the world and make it more like it is on the other side. And that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.